Watchers, welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today I have the pleasure to feature uh, a piece from Pantor. Now Pantor is a brand uh, that makes pretty solid divers actually. I featured uh, a couple of their watches in the past and I've always enjoyed the solidity of their designs. Uh, today I have uh, you know, one of their kind of older pieces, but probably uh, I think one of their better sellers or good sellers. Uh, it comes in their typical uh, leather case that they sent their watches on. Uh, so guys, I'm afraid, yes, it is another dive watch that I have featured today. Uh, you guys, uh, you know, maybe uh, as I've said before, having some dive watch fatigue, but uh, I tell you what, uh, after this video, a lot of the, my upcoming pieces will be non-divers. So maybe I'll, I'll be having some clamoring for where are the dive watches? Or maybe not, you know, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's flip the camera around now and take a closer look at the watch in here. All right, guys, so here we have the case on the table here. Spin factor of these things are actually, i tell you what, pretty good. I think that's going to be a four out of five. That's what I'm going to give it. Uh, so they come in this uh, very practical leather carry case. It's, uh, you know, what Pantor has always sent uh, their watches in. Uh, this one actually has the, you know, if you can see it, the watch case sits there and there, which is a little bit less than desirable. You know, a lot of other people prefer the watch case to be opposite, you know, so it fits better, but this is what it is. Uh, you know, Pantor um, instructions for, you know, kind of three-hander, this is a Seiko. Actually, you know, let me know with a show of hands if you would actually look at this, because I imagine that most of us wouldn't really, but if you do, let me know, I'll be interested to hear it. Uh, warranty card, which is uh, in fact, uh, they've kindly left it blank for me, which is nice. Uh, and they've actually provided a NATO strap, but I'm not going to feature that uh, on this particular watch. Okay, so let's just put that aside and show you guys this particular watch in closer detail here. So guys, this is of course the Pantor Sea Lion Automatic in a blue color, this variation here. It does come in a number of other variations, which you can see on the website if you choose, of course. Uh, the full MSRP, $540, uh, but on discount uh, that I can see it, you know, including, I think, in Amazon, uh, all links down the bottom, is about $400. So, you know, I think the discount price is realistically, you know, what you can hope to get this watch for rather than full MSRP. I think it's fair enough to say. Okay. So first up, uh, as I always do, let's talk about the movement in here, which is, uh, as I mentioned, the Seiko, and it's of course none other than the NH35A. You probably already guessed that, looking at uh, you know three-hander watches like this. Uh, stats down the left, you've seen this ad infinitum. I'm not going to read it out, uh, but I'll say in actual use plus eight seconds per day, which is pretty darn good. I think uh, you know the regulation is very. Uh, reasonable in this particular watch that they've sent. Okay, talking about the case now, moving straight along, 42 millimeter diameter case here. The bezel itself is 40 millimeters, you know, just to, I guess, clarify that. Uh, the thickness is actually not bad for, you know, a tough diver like this, 13 millimeters with 22 millimeter lug width. And the lug to lug distance, you can see this construction uh, actually has led to a very short lug to lug uh, distance or relatively short of 45 millimeters or just slightly over 45 millimeters when I measure you know between my thumbs there with calipers. Uh, the overall weight is also fairly pleasant at 119 grams on this rubber strap. Okay finishing then. So we got matte uh, and brush finishing on that bezel there. You can just have a look right so mostly matte finishing on that bezel uh, matte on the top of the insert as well circular brushing on the top of the casework there uh, and it also is circular brushing at the bottom surface of the case uh, as well as the, the the case back there uh, or i guess somewhat of a radial brushing in some parts there uh, and then on the sides you can see nicely polished pretty high polish actually quite quite pleasing to look at with a helium escape valve in the middle of that side there and then of course the other side is the signed crown uh, so talking about the case back is you know you can see there very obviously a solid solid case back screw down with that sea lion motif of course 
uh, and then a screw down crown on a watch like this uh, you know you're definitely going to have a screw down crown uh, this is rated at 300 meter water resistance uh, and if you if you get a watch like this and it doesn't have a screw down crown i reckon it's going to be a little bit of a joke let me know if you have a watch like that uh, without a screw down crown you know the t-vice would be you know one example okay moving on to the dial now so what we have here you can already see it as I have panned it around. It's a kind of a nice bright blue, I guess it's not super bright, but it's a bright blue sunburst dial uh, with fully printed details. So all the words on here is printed, including the uh, periphery chapter ring, as well as uh, all the indices, which are the loom, uh, I guess, areas, uh, all printed on. And there's a date window, as you can see there, on the three o'clock position. In this case, it's actually black writing on the white disc, which I guess is not too bad because it kind of counterbalances uh, the indice on the opposite side of the hour index on the nine o'clock uh, side there. The hands are polished rectangle baton and arrow hand so you know kind of rectangle for the hour baton for the minute and then the arrow tip for the seconds loom is as you might expect on all the usual spots including the bezel pip and of course i'll show a loom shot right here for you guys to see how it looks like in the dark okay so on top of the dial uh, is a flat sapphire crystal and surrounding that uh, is a 120 click unidirectional dive style bezel. All right, let's just hear it. Okay, so that's 10 clicks, so it's 120 click. I think it's a ceramic insert. They haven't actually explicitly uh, stated, which always uh, kind of makes me a little bit suspicious whether it is or not, but it has relief here. You know, these numbers actually are cut into this so it makes me think it's not going to be aluminium but rather ceramic but you know if i find out more accurately i'll put a addendum down the bottom here all right so that's the description of the case here uh the strap we have here is you know a fairly nice silicon rubber i have to say so this is a silicon rubber with a brush metal buckle which is fairly you know fairly nice and chunky and solid and i quite like the design you know this kind of i don't know what you call this uh, chocolate bar or blockiness uh, not seen anything like this so actually quite like the look of that okay so there you go guys let's just get it on the wrist for a wrist shot for you guys now and there you have it the pantor c-line automatic on my 17 centimeter wrist so just remember it is 42 millimeter diameter but with a relatively short lug to lug distance which actually makes it fit very well even on a wrist that's not as large uh, or not very large like mine 13 millimeter on the thickness there and that's how it looks like on that very comfortable i have to say silicon rubber Okay, that's the watch guys. Let's just talk about now what I have particularly liked or enjoyed about this. Look, I think this is a rather solidly made turtle style diver. You know, uh, Pantor have always made, you know, solid divers. Uh, no, no question about it. Every watch they've sent me is a solid watch, uh, but this one is actually a turtle style. The first one I've had of them, which is a turtle style diver. And some people really like uh, this style. It's a certainly, uh, you know, no shortage of popularity, but it isn't a direct copy or direct homage of the Seiko Turtle. So, you know, if you like a turtle look without the, you know, it being a direct, you know, one-to-one -one, uh, case copy of the Seiko, this might be an option, you know, it does have that turtle look to it. Uh, the short lugs, again, I have to say, makes for a great fit. So even if you have a small wrist, smaller than mine, I reckon, you know, 45 millimeters will fit you know, just about anybody, any any uh, guy anyway. Uh, you know, uh, ladies, you know, some of them, you know, actually can carry a watch like this, I have to say as well. Uh, the strap design, you know, I've mentioned this already, is, you know, fresh and unique, and I, I really do like it. I've not seen anything quite like this, certainly not on a Seiko uh, as well. And I think the, the spec inclusions are okay, right? You're getting the Seiko movement, you're getting uh, sapphire glass there, and you're getting what I think is a ceramic, bezel insert right not too bad uh, but you know on the flip side on the weakness i think uh, it's extremely stiff competition at this price range even on the discount price of 400 this is going to be pushing uphill somewhat you know because a lot of them may in fact include a metal bracelet rather than just 
silicon rubber at this price point. Uh, and overall, right, yes, it's a cool turtle case, but if you look at the, the bezel, look at the dial, nothing too special. It is still a dive watch, very difficult to make a diver, nothing other than generic. And I have to say a lot of the middle part here is fairly generic. Okay, guys, so there we go. That's my thoughts uh, about this watch. Let's just flip the camera around now for the wrap up. So there you go, guys, my review of the Pantor Sea Lion Automatic. Let me know what you think about this piece. Yep, another diver, uh, but you know, they have a place. So you know, if you uh, enjoy uh, turtle designs like this, certainly would like to hear from you, or in fact, if you own any Pantor watches. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.